Hi, I'm Venus from the Venus Cuckoldress podcast. Dating is hard enough as it is, but when you're trying to find a partner for a one-sided open relationship where she gets to have extra fun and they both love it that way, it's even harder. I'm happy to announce there's finally a matchmaking service for singles who would like a loving cuckolding relationship. It's called Venus Connections. It's totally safe and completely private. Everything's behind a privacy wall. There's no scrolling through profiles. It's a matchmaking service. We work hard to find what it is that you are looking for and we take the time to get to know you. And there's a three week course that's included. You can learn more at venusconnections.com. Matchmaking for loving cuckolding relationships. On this episode of the Venus Cuckoldress Podcast. Oh my goodness, I'm not going to lie. This was one of the most fun episodes that I have ever recorded. This list goes from, you know, tame ways of playing with cuck angst to, I'd say, like moderate ways to cuck your man to the really fucking going for it, cuck your man ideas. So be prepared to learn what a cuckress 5000 move is because I mentioned it twice in this episode and I think it's a new thing. I really do. (laughs) All of a sudden, in the middle of sex with her boyfriend, she calls out someone else's name, some other guy's name. (laughs) So unexpected for him and so hot that he just lost all control. He said it was the hottest sex of his entire life. You say, hey, baby, I'm so glad that you bought that. I love it so much. I can't wait to wear it, but I won't be wearing it for you. (laughs) But fucking his friends. I love the idea of that. (laughs) I know that scares a lot of guys. It really does. If it is something that's on the table, fucking go for it. Because that could be, oh my God, so fun. When I come home and I have this like freshly fucked pussy and I get my boyfriend or husband to go and put his face in between my thighs. And maybe as he's doing that, I'm telling him all about the experience I just had with some other guy. My friend, Mistress Kay, she brought this up to me and I was like, holy fuck, that's so savage. (laughs) If you're going to go fuck another guy and your husband is at home by himself, she said, I take away his phone. Welcome to the Venus Cuckoldress podcast. A place to learn all things cuckolding for the curious, the passionate, and the sexually empowered woman who wants it all. Make sure you go to venuscuckoldress.com to subscribe to the podcast and check out the Venus blog. And of course, if you love it, share it. Now, sit back, make yourself comfortable, and enjoy the show with your host, Venus. Welcome to this episode of the Venus Cuckoldress Podcast. I'm your host, Venus. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, oh my goodness, I'm not going to lie. This was one of the most fun episodes that I have ever recorded. I mean, it's days like this where (laughs) I'm like, really? Is this my job? Because this is fucking fun. (laughs) So... Thank you to all of my Patreon supporters who support this podcast and allow me to do this as my full-time job because, wow, yeah, today today was epic. <laughs> it's wonderful. Today I'm going to talk about oh, 17 ways to cuck your man. It's actually more ways than 17, but 
It's 17 Ways to Cuck Your Man. This is based on the blog post that I wrote for the Venus Cuckold Just blog a few years ago. And so this is the revised 17 Ways to Cuck Your Man. Yeah. So be prepared to learn what a cuckress 5000 move is because I mention it twice in this episode and I think it's a new thing. I really do. <laughs> but really, this episode is great and I think for all of the people out there who are just learning about cuckolding or just curious about it or even for all of the couples who've been doing this for a long time, I hope that all of you can get some inspiration from this list because this list goes from, you know, tame ways of playing with cuck angst to, I'd say, like moderate ways to cuck your man to the really fucking going for it cuck your man ideas. So <laughs> be prepared <laughs> to learn a little something here or there. All right, before we get into it today, I just want to talk a little bit about, again, my favorite new app called The Moan App, spelled M-O-N. And it's so awesome. I spoke about it, I think, in the last podcast episode where I had found this new app. It's a drop-in live audio app, kind of like Clubhouse, but for all things sexuality. And there are some incredible speakers that are posting chats on there all the time, and you can just drop in and listen or even participate, and it's totally private. And there just so happens to be quite a few speakers on there who are doing chats all about cuckolding and ethical non-monogamy, a whole bunch of stuff, lots of different topics. So if you want to check it out, just go to the app store, download it, just search for The Moan app and it'll pop right up. It's totally free. And one last announcement. So Friday, December 17th at 7 p.m. Pacific time is the next Pillow Talk event. And my friends, Cuckoldress Scarlett and Cuckoldress Anne are going to be joining me for another Pillow Talk event. And they're always so much fun. It's very fun and casual. A couple of hours of questions, answers, and discussions. So it's a great place to learn things, have fun, and meet some other people in the lifestyle as well. If you want to learn more about how to register, you can go to venuscuckoldress.com and click on the tab that says pillow talk events. Okay, now we're going to get right into it. But first, here is a message from my friends at Full Swap Radio. Imagine one place to hear sexy stories, get quality sex and lifestyle advice, have questions answered, and new kinks explored. There is a place, Full Swap Radio Network. The best adult alternative sex positive shows out there. Quality shows just like this one. Visit us at fullswapradio.com or download the app at FS Radio. Full Swap Radio Network, changing the way you listen to the lifestyle. So a few years ago, I wrote a post called 17 Ways to Cuck Your Man. Simple title, simple post, just 17 little bullet points on how a woman can cuck her man. And while I really love what I wrote there, I think there's a lot more over the years that I've thought of and that I've been inspired from other women to kind of add to that list. So that's what I'm going to do today. We're going through the 17 plus ways to cock your man. So ladies, listen up, get a pen and paper. This one gets really, really fun. And I might add that this post has been the most popular post on the Venus Cuckoldress blog, I think, uh, forever. So <laughs> even though it was a short and sweet and sexy kind of post, it just was forever popular. So Let's see if you love this list as much as I do. Let's get right into it. So the very first thing that I said when it comes to cuckolding your man is obviously fucking other men. I put that like right up at the top of the list in bold. And I get where I was coming from back then. <laughs> 
But I feel like now that that is so limited and it's not just about fucking other men. There's so many other ways that you can incorporate cuckolding and cuck angst in your partner, in your relationship without actually sleeping with other men. You're playing with the idea of sleeping with other men that can be super fun. In fact, sometimes maybe even more fun than sleeping with another guy. Honestly, take my word for it. Even if it's just flirting with other men in front of your husband or partner. Oh my God, that is fun. Let's say you guys both go out um, into like a bar or something like that. And your husband, he goes and sits over at a table, pretends to be like he's solo out tonight. And you end up sitting up at the bar and you start chatting it up with somebody, flirting a little bit with somebody with no intentions of it going anywhere but just to put on a show for your husband and you look over and he's watching you and you can see in his eyes, he's got that beautiful mixture of like angsty feelings of, oh my God, that's so fucking hot, but it's also like, so makes me so anxious and stuff like that. So I personally love that so much. So if it is in a place where you can be discreet, where people don't really know you or whatever, maybe you're traveling together or something like that, that's a really fun little game to play. And it's going to drive him absolutely crazy. Another thing that you can do that's kind of on the same with the same idea is you can like text some guys and flirt with them. Maybe you're on a dating app and it's a confidential kind of private profile, but you end up like flirting or sexting with some guys. You can actually take a screenshot of that conversation and send it to your husband (laughs) or partner. Oh my God. (laughs) Let me tell you, that will drive him wild (laughs) because he gets to actually see what you're saying to somebody else. And he gets to see how turned on that guy is with talking to his wife. And maybe it's conversations or sexting that like he's never seen his wife kind of participate in before. That's so exciting. That's so hot. That's so thrilling. And of course, you can just talk about other men. And what I mean by that is like if you guys are out together and you see a hot guy walk by, make sure that you make a comment to your husband. It doesn't mean you're going to go fuck this guy or whatever. It just means that you are going to create this incredible angsty moment for your husband who thinks that that's like so sexy and so hot. And you guys can have fun with that together. And make sure that he catches you looking at other men. (laughs) I'll never forget it. Like I was in Las Vegas and I was sitting with my girlfriends and um, we were just chatting. There was a cuck friend of of mine at the table and there was this like hot group of black guys that walked past and all the eyes at my table, (laughs) all of us, our heads turned. We looked, we were just like staring at these guys walking by. We stopped talking and I will never forget like this cuck who was at the table was like, that was the hottest moment ever. (laughs) And you can, of course, tell him about a sexy dream that you've had because I'm sure you have had some sort of really fucking erotic dream that was of you and some other guy other than your partner. And if that's the case, tell him all about that. Make sure you mention that to him and tell him like this. It wasn't you in my dream. It was someone else. And why that dream was so hot and sexy and everything like that. It's going to drive your partner wild. (laughs) And the last thing that I'm going to talk about when it comes to how to cuck your guy without sleeping with another guy This is a story that I heard recently in a conversation on the Moan app, which I love that app. It's so amazing. It's a drop-in audio app where you can just go and listen to conversations. It's awesome. Well, there was a guy on there who was talking about the fact that he had just started introducing the idea of cuckolding to his girlfriend, and they were just kind of chatting about it, and things were going pretty well, and they ended up um, having sex after that, and she did the most epic cuckress 5000 move. (laughs) Let me explain. So they were having sex, 
They had just had this conversation about cuckolding, about her sleeping with other guys. And they were fucking. And all of a sudden, in the middle of sex with her boyfriend, she calls out someone else's name, some other guy's name. (laughs) So unexpected for him and so hot that he just lost all all control, like lost it. He said it was the hottest sex of his entire life. (laughs) And I was just like, wow, what a fucking move she did. And I love that. Like, just catch him off guard like that. Oh my God, that is epic. Cactus 5000 move. (laughs) And if you guys are listening to this episode right now, I just want to say big applause for you because that is such a great story. I love it. Okay, so those are some things that you can do without fucking another guy. Let's move on to the how to cuck your man by fucking other guys. So here we go. The first one that I put on the list, pretty simple, just make him sit in the corner uh, while you're fucking someone else, and he needs to just stay quiet and jerk off. So he's not allowed to like, you know, come up and try to meddle with you and like join in or whatever. Um, but you can like let him jerk off or not, whatever. There's variations in that. Maybe he doesn't need to sit in the corner. Maybe he needs to just stand somewhere totally naked or something like that. I don't know. There's lots of things that you can, lots of variations you can do with that. And that's just like basic cuckolding stuff. Um, Or maybe he doesn't have to be jerking off. Maybe he doesn't have to be naked. Maybe he's just sitting there watching and admiring you. That's entirely okay as well. That's hot as fuck. The second point on the list is to make him take pictures and videos. And I love this part because How many times have I been fucking a bull and I'm like, oh my God, I wish that I had someone to take the pictures right now or videos. Like I want this, I want to be able to watch this later. And so a cuck partner is wonderful for that. Now, having said that though, oh my goodness, some guys are really not good at taking pictures and videos that are to the standards that women would want. I mean, we are picky as fuck when it comes to like angles and lighting and everything like that. So all the guys out there, make sure you ask your woman specifically what types of angles she wants, the lighting, what areas of her body she does not want in the pictures or videos, you have to really be careful with that because the last thing you want is some pictures and videos that your wife absolutely fucking hates. So make sure that you learn how to do it properly. Next, you can just make him stay home. And of course, this is only if you are comfortable, you know, meeting solo with somebody else. So maybe it's a partner, a bull who you have seen many times, you feel very comfortable and very safe with then you can actually get your partner or husband to just stay the fuck at home. (laughs) Maybe he can like watch by FaceTime or Skype or something like that. That's always fun too, because he can hear what's going on. Obviously, he can see sort of what's going on. I mean, you're going to have to position the phone kind of like somewhere where you know, a little bit further away. So the lighting won't be great. And he's he's going to be able to see stuff, but he's not going to be able to see anything kind of like up close. So it's kind of fun because he wants to be able to see more and like enjoy all of that part. But he's forced to just stay home and look at this grainy picture and listen to what's going on. And it helps him to kind of, you know, fill in the blanks and imagine what's going on. And I love that. Or if you just want to have him stay home and just listen on the phone only, so no video, this is one of my absolute favorites. And I've talked about my first actual like real mind-blowing cuckolding experience was when my boyfriend was listening on the phone. I found it so fucking hot because I could tell by his voice and by, you know, the things that he was saying or the sounds he was making that like what I was doing at that moment on the phone was turning him on so much. But at the same time, he can't see what's happening. And so he has to just like 
imagine what's going on in his mind. And for a cuck, when you're thinking about that, when you're imagining that, when you're like creating those kind of images in your mind, it's intense. It's really fucking intense. So having him listen on the phone is one of my absolute fucking favorites. Or if he's nearby, you can have him actually listen maybe on the other side of a door or in another room or something like that, just so he can hear like a little bit of what's going on. I just love that when you kind of take out the visual experience and you force him to just have that kind of audio experience and imagine what's happening. And this one's a bit simple, but I do really love it as well. And that's like making your husband or partner actually like drive you to this guy's house, drop you off and pick you up afterwards. And the reason why I really like that is because when I get out of the car, I want to be able to like look back at my husband and see the look on his face and have him see that look of excitement on my face. And then, you know, when I knock on the door and then having him see this other guy kind of like embrace me at the doorway. And then I kind of like, you know, bye (laughs) to my husband. I love that part. He sees me all dolled up and I'm walking into this guy's house. But (laughs) when he picks me up and I walk outside and I look like I just got fucked so incredibly. (laughs) I look exhausted and happy and I get in the car and it's just like a smile like that (laughs) will make a lot of angst for your partner in a really great way. So dropping off and picking up, love it. The other thing you can do now is make him buy new lingerie before you go out on a date with a bull. And that's a pretty common one, but it's really fun to do, especially if you are, you know, shopping for lingerie, you pick out something really nice, and then you make a comment to your husband after he buys it that like, that's not for him. (laughs) Maybe he's not expecting it. I just love it. You can say, hey, baby, I'm so glad that you bought that. I love it so much. I can't wait to wear it, but I won't be wearing it for you. (laughs) I don't know what it is about that. I just love it. I love it. It seems so unfair, but you know he loves it when you say that. (laughs) He loves it. So there's (laughs) next, there's a couple of my absolute favorite ways to cuck your man. Okay. So the first is when you get home after a date, maybe you walk into the door to your house, your husband's there and he sees you and you're just like, oh, you've got that like what cuckoldress Ann calls a post fuck glow going on where you are just beaming because you've just had fucking amazing sex. You walk in the door, you look at your husband, he looks at you and it's just like, wow. And you will maybe have him come sit down with you or you lay down in bed together and you tell him about the entire experience in detail. Storytelling. I love it. That is so fun because I get really excited when I talk about other guys and I love to see the reaction, that excited reaction in my partner husband. Like I get off on that. So telling him about it and having him get so excited about it is like, oh my God. And then, you know, your husband and your partner just wants you so badly after you tell him about that, or while you're telling him about that, oh, it's incredible. But the pinnacle of the cuckolding experience, and I made an entire podcast episode about this one thing, clean up. So I love that moment when I come in, when I come home, and I have this like freshly fucked pussy, and I get my boyfriend or husband to go and put his face in between my thighs. And maybe as he's doing that, I'm telling him all about the experience I just had with some other guy. That, to me, is epic. That is everything. Like that right there, my 
favorite scenario. <laughs> Not only is it hot as fuck, but it's an extremely emotionally and physically intimate time that you share together. It is so bonding in so many ways. And so I love cleanup. I love it so much. Okay, this next one is also one of my absolute favorites. So let's say you go fuck some other guy and your boyfriend or husband is at work. Or maybe he's out with friends or he's somewhere, you know, where he's around other people. (laughs) Send him a picture or a video or something that's going to pop up on his phone and catch him a little bit by surprise. I love this because it forces him to be in that awkward situation where he is so incredibly turned on by what he's seeing you do on his phone. And yet he is forced, totally forced to suppress it. It's not easy. (laughs) I love that so much. So catch him off guard, send him something, picture a sexy picture or video of you fucking some other guy or sucking his dick or whatever. And oh my God, you can have so much fun with that. I just recently did that to somebody. I can't tell you how much I loved it. (laughs) He was like, holy fuck, I was in a bit of a situation when you said that to me. And I'm like, oh my God. Yay. (laughs) It's great. It's great fun. You can have a lot of fun with that little game. Let me tell you. Okay. This is where the 17 ways to cuck your man list takes a little bit of a turn to maybe some might say a little bit more extreme. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) But I do really love the fact that this list goes from like tame to like general to fucking really going for it. (laughs) So this is where we kind of go into the really going for it part of it. So I have written down here, fuck black guys with big dicks. And that is one of my all time favorite types of ways to cuck your man. But I mean, this could be, it doesn't have to be black guys, could be any guy with a big, huge dick, basically like somebody who's got way, way more impressive equipment than your partner does. And yeah, that's fucking awesome. Okay, the next one, make him watch you get gangbanged. So don't just fuck one guy, (laughs) fuck a whole bunch of guys. And for many of you listening right now, you're already aware that my wedding night fantasy is to have my very first gangbang on my wedding night. And so something like that would be fucking amazing, like incredible, like next level. What make him watch you get game banged on your fucking wedding night? Amazing. The other thing that you can do is not just on your wedding night, but every anniversary after that, or on your honeymoon. Like, <laughs> there's so many fun ways of reminding this guy about that wedding night. <laughs> okay, and then of course, this is also one of my favorites, but okay, I get it, not very realistic in the real world when it comes to cuckolding relationships, but fucking his friends. I love the idea of that. (laughs) And I know that scares a lot of guys. It really does. Where they're like, holy fuck, no, you can't fuck my friends. It's going to make things so awkward, like an out me and everything like that. But anyway, if it is something that's on the table, fucking go for it. Cause that could be, oh my God, so fun. There's fucking his friends or his roommate or whatever, somebody that's like close to him that can be awesome. I know a lot of women out there who have fucked their boyfriend's roommate, whether he knew it or not. (laughs) Oh my goodness. Okay. The other, (laughs) okay, the next one, the next one, fuck his brother and his dad. Okay. So family members, Again, this is where it goes extreme. I get it. It's not very realistic and stuff like that. But I'm not going to lie. I think it's hot. Don't judge. (laughs) And of course, you can fuck his coworkers, maybe even his boss or his like employees. (laughs) I don't know. Oh, the options are endless. 
And then the last one on the list is not my favorite, but it's fuck your ex-boyfriends and uh, or ex-husbands, whatever. I've heard this from a lot of cucks, actually, who say that they really want their partner to fuck their ex. And the women are like, what the fuck? There's a reason why I'm not with that guy anymore. I don't I don't want anything to do with him. And so I get that part. I get what what they're saying with that. But I also understand how wickedly appealing that could be to a cuck because not only are you fucking another guy, but you're fucking a guy who you used to have a real love relationship with. And so that makes it even more risky, even more dangerous. So I get the appeal of that. I really do. Okay. That is the list of 17 ways to cuck your man plus other ways. Now, at the very end of this list, I want to mention a few things. I've been so inspired by some other women uh, who've told me some really great ways of kind of amplifying this cuck angst feeling in your partner. So the first one is Mistress K. My friend Mistress K, she brought this up to me and I was like, holy fuck, that's so savage. (laughs) So it goes along the lines of if you're going to go fuck another guy and your husband is at home by himself while you're gone. She said, I take away his phone, his cell phone. (laughs) I was like, oh my God, (laughs) that would be, yeah, level 5,000 cuckers right there because that would just make that angst even more because he would be wondering how it's going, but no ability to know, like no ability to reach out and find out. And he would have to wait until you walked through that door. Like he would know nothing about the situation. I'm just like, oh my gosh, Mistress K, (laughs) that's amazing. There's another one that I thought was so incredible. And it is a couple who support me on Patreon for this podcast. Thank you so much for your support. I was talking to the wife and she said that when she goes to meet another guy for a date, for a night, whatever, she has a special perfume that she wears just for that occasion. She will not wear that perfume at any other time, only when she's going to meet a bull. And it was so funny because she told me (laughs) that one day, like her husband knows that she's got this perfume that she only wears for her bulls. One day she accidentally put it on when she wasn't going to see her bull. And it, it drove her husband crazy because all day he was smelling the scent of her perfume and he couldn't figure out what it was about her that was just driving him totally wild. (laughs) I was like, wow, that's amazing. I fucking love that idea. Or if you have like a special set of lingerie that you do not wear for your husband ever, and he knows that's for when you go out with a bull, you could maybe just like, I don't know, don't tell him that you're going out, but just lay out the lingerie and let him find it. And he'd be like, oh my God, oh my God. (laughs) Surprise. (laughs) Oh, there's so many fun things that you can do to play with cuckolding within a loving relationship. There's so many amazing ways to play with cuck angst in a loving and fun way with your partner. So ladies, I really hope that you loved this list and got some inspiration. It sure did for me to learn from other women. And guys... I hope you love this list as well. If you have any other suggestions of things that you think I missed that need to be on this list, you can send me a message by email. My email address is venus at venuscuckoldress.com. Or if you support me on Patreon, of course, you can just send me a message on there. All right, that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you loved it. Before I say goodbye, just a few reminders. Make sure you download the Moan app. Check out all those fun conversations that are happening on there. December 17th is the next Pillow Talk event. Make sure you register for that one too. And then if you're single and you're looking for a loving cuckolding relationship, you can go to venusconnections.com to check out the matchmaking service. And if you want to subscribe to the podcast, you can go to venuscuckoldress.com. And that's also where you find the Venus Vault, my little collection of personal photos and videos. Super sexy. All right. 
Don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter. My handle is at Cuckoldress B. Thanks so much for checking out this episode, and we'll see you next time. Bye.